That's Tiff upstairs getting ready, putting on makeup. I probably look like a creeper. <laughs> or actually, <laughs> I probably just look like any normal Japanese guy. <laughs> like, hey, can I smell your underwear? Okay, not today. Okay, I'll come by tomorrow. What hey, the you heck? Are crazy. How do you go up there? Look at him. Look at Bart. Hey, Michael. What the heck? What on earth? I was just—I heard you guys talking. I was like, "Where's that voice coming from?" I know that voice. I just climbed it. I bet they're gonna pop out and be like, "What the heck are you doing?" Hey, my bear. Huh? I heard voices, and I was like, "That sounds like us." And I was like, "Where can I hear these guys?" Tommy's right here. Right Tommy's right here. Jill's right here. Hi, my bear. Good morning, Julia. Morning. Ah, it's a black guy. Here, over here. Ah. Here, so what? Over here. What do you want from me? I don't see Julia. Oh, Julia. Julia head. wants you to stick your head out more, at least half of your body. Fine. That's funny. <laughs> Did you take a picture? Yeah. We saw this crow, babe. And he was digging through the trash. He stuck his beak through that net and he was about to pull the trash out. You see those trash has nets on it? Like that blue one? Every trash has net on it. But that crow was so smart. He was, it was a Japanese crow. And he, and he stuck his uh, beak through the net. Look at my socks have ice creams on it. Cuny. I feel like... I feel like I'm stuck here now. I climbed this wall. Gotta get back down. Oh, oh, oh. Isaac, this is it. Look over here. Oh. Isaac, look over here. Look over here. Oh. <laughs> I think he's too scared to look where you want him to look. He's too scared. Are you too scared? Isaac, okay, my bad. No, he's not that scared. You can put him at least like two feet more over. <laughs> Just dangle from his feet. You can, I, don't wanna, I, don't do I think you should hold him by his toes, his toenails, and then hang him over. <laughs> hey Michael, you should hold him by his toenails and then hang him over. You I hold him by his arm sockets. You're, you're, you're insane. Morning everyone. Today is our first official day in Japan. And um, this morning I kind of had a little bit of jet lag. I woke up at 5 and I got really hungry. <laughs> and then so uh, last night this guy gave us these snacks. So I was just fumbling around where I can't see. Oh shoot, people are late for work. And uh, so I grabbed like this little triangle rice thing and I ate that and I went back to sleep because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna have jet lag. I gotta get rid of jet lag if I have it. Went back to sleep, knocked the hell out. And then woke up at eight, bright and early. Now I feel really good. So I think uh, the first hurdle is over. Knocked out the jet lag, have a regular sleeping schedule. And then now me and the crew, we are probably gonna go shopping. I wanna be in the picture. You wanna be in the picture? Say what's up, Isaac. What's up? <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna go. Uh, watch out, Isaac, there's a car coming. So we wanna go to a Shibuya, I believe. And it's like a really busy uh, intersection. The, the world famous, I guess, uh, intersection where people always are always crossing the streets. And uh, we're, we're deciding to take the scenic route. Usually people ride the subway, but we're gonna walk. And it's only three miles, so it'll probably take an hour. How do you feel about walking it, Ma Bear? Oh my god, I'm so in love with walking it just because I feel like that's when you really get to take in like the actual place that you're at. And I feel we like go. you're like a local. Another... You get to see all the shades of like the shapes of the doors, you get to stare at the cars a little bit longer, you get to, you get to check out all the little minor details that I'm so fascinated about because I've never been here. You know, ever, even when you ever, walk ever. even when you walk at home. Yeah. You, you get a different view of the city when you're walking it versus yeah. when you're driving it or even if you're biking. Right. They're all different, three different views of the city. It's a very different experience every single time. I agree 100%. So I'm so happy to be, anytime I go to a new country, I love walking just because I can take it all in a little bit better at my own pace. We're here at our first vending machine experience. I know. <laughs> and then this guy, like he was across the street and then he was trying to talk to us and then you're like, what happened? But we both didn't understand each other. He bought something because we clearly don't know what's hot versus what's cold. Like obviously we would know these are cold, 
But then the bottom ones were like, is it is it hot? Is it so he got a creamy latte, which uh, yeah, this one I believe. Hot. And it looked really bomb. And then we were asking Wait, him if it was hot. That, that, that <laughs> he just mumbled. Yeah. He was like that. Uh, he didn't even mumble words. He just made noise. He was like, uh, 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 and he just kept walking away. Like, I don't want to do anything with you for him. I think he said, <laughs> can you give me a creamy latte then? Yeah. It's not accepting. How can you get my hopes up and not work at the vending machine? Oh no, what happened? How did he do it? You guys want to see what the view of these stupid Americans look like? This is our view. This is what us stupid JK Americans look like to the Ameri to the Japanese world. This is the Japan's perspective. Look at these stupid Americans at the vending machine. <laughs> Is there anything special about the temperature of the can? It is hot. Ooh, if I hold it long yeah, enough, it actually there's that ooh, slight burn to it. I'm like, oh. That's crazy. Is it steaming? Uh, I can open it, but the the can. Oh, shake it first. Shake it, shake it first, because it might you might have to mix up the creamer and stuff. Watch it go. I don't know. Ah, it's hot. Is that hot? Damn. Well, I, th I think it's hotter just because my hands are cold. Did you get the same thing as me? Yes. Can I get one more creamy latte? Because <laughs> you thought we were going to share, huh? I could get a different one. You can get a different one. We could try them. You could try it. Get a different one. We've been here about 15 minutes, I think. We're an embarrassment. How many? Oh, this is good. And it's warm. Hey, you guys heard that it's warm like 20 times already. What is that donut worth? Could you get the same thing? Yeah. Later we'll get a different flavor. Oh, this is bomb. It is really good. I'm about to open it. I'm going to try it. It's crazy that it's warm. And they serve cold and warm drinks in the same vending machine. That's insane. So, so we decided to stop by a family mart. And what's cool about family mart is I'm really familiar with it because there's a million of these in Taiwan as well. And the first thing I noticed is this, uh, I think they call it ordain type of tank. And you got radish, eggs, wieners, uh, all, type, all types of fish cakes and stuff. Yeah. And you can just get a bowl and fill it all up and you get hot food immediately. This is one thing I really like about Asia is that the convenience stores, they have hot food for you. So for us, if you go to 7-Eleven, besides the super unhealthy bacon wrapped hot dogs and the tacos, there's not really healthy food, but there's a lot of healthy food here. And per Gina's recommendation, I got a Family Mart fried chicken. So I'm going to eat it. Want some, babe? You better not fuck me over, Gina. <laughs> Don't go outside? Yeah. It's hot as <clears throat> Oh, it's pretty good. Tastes like Turkish chicken. It's peppery. What's that? Chicken! On the stick. It's like gingery chicken. Mmm! That one was good. It's all like... Mmm! It's gingery. Mmm! Mmm! -hmm. Mm. I like that one better. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. You fucked me over. It's good! Fine, she didn't fuck me over anymore. She is a savage. Mmm, mmm. Yummy. This is bomb, right? Yeah, thank you. I love family bar. Thank you for the food recommendation. <laughs> Hi. Okay. I like your fighting stance. <laughs> right leg back fighting stance. Is that it? Family bar. Or left leg back fighting stance. <laughs> Before coming here, I did like last minute research on sushi just because, and that's the, like, the highlight of my trip here, which is, I think for everyone here, everyone loves sushi here. So. Yeah. We're coming to the homeland of sushi, so I wanted to kind of research what sushi is all about, like the history and stuff. Yeah. And I didn't realize that nigiri sushi, which is pretty much the what we know as sushi in the States. Which is the fish on the rice. Yes, fish on rice. It's only one type of sushi. And there's another kind called oz ozi sushi, which is, uh, it's, it's imagine spam musubi, so it's pressed. Right, so ozi sushi, sushi means like boxed sushi or compressed sushi. So yeah. Imagine like spam musubi. And spam, it's fish, and they have all different kinds of that. And they wrap it in a seaweed too. 
and they wrap it in seaweed as well. And is it as big as a spam musubi where it's like a this big tell. roll like, thing? It seemed like they made like an entire sheet of it, like a, a sheet of compressed uh, uh, rice and fish. Yeah. And they just cut it up and they serve it like pie like or like a cake. Oh, so it's almost like a like compressed rice. hand roll? A compressed hand roll, yeah. I mean, but there's like different variations of, oh. of that. So, so I, wanted, I wanted to try that. I wanted to see that presented in front of me and then try it. Like see it yeah. made in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, mean, cool. I imagine it would probably taste relatively the same. It's the same ingredients, but yeah, yeah. Just, we just never had that in the States. So I wanted to try that. And there's another kind called Nari Sushi or Nari Sushi. Yeah. And that With is... With an A? N A? N A R E. Yeah. I think, I don't know, it's it. The spelling, the pronunciation, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but I just read it that uh, this type of sushi is also, this is like the OG sushi. So this is before the created like the raw fish concept. So everything's pickled, right? Everything's pickled, yeah. I remember reading about that a long time ago too. Yeah, so I want to try some of that too, like the OG sushi that you can't get in the States either. Because the OG sushi is supposed to be where like, um, since back then they didn't have refrigeration, uh -huh. like with fishermen, they need to like preserve their fish. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. got to be able to eat it later. So yeah. it was like pickled fish and they would just take that to go and it lasts way longer. Yeah, yeah. So I wanna give that a try. We'll Sounds see. bomb. We'll see. But I feel like nigiri sushi is probably the most common. Yeah. So even like those, like here, I feel like you're probably not, it's not gonna be like a, oh, there it is, let's try it. It's yeah, cause even on Jiro Dreams of Sushi, it's like mainly nigiri, yeah. Yeah. So we walked by a cemetery, so we must uh, be very respectful. But uh, this is, uh, I was just looking at all the tombstones and the architecture in this Japanese cemetery and it's beautiful. We gotta be, uh, re remember to be very respectful in here because these are people's ancestors and deceased loved ones. But I love the way uh, their tombstones are and I don't even know what the proper way to call them but it's beautiful in here. Look at that. Oh no, there's a little monster. It is, huh? It doesn't seem scary like a Chinese cemetery. Or an American cemetery. Because it's in the American cemetery. Maybe it's just the movies. But they, it's like in the floor. But here it's like they're above the ground. I don't know. I mean, it just looks like it's above the ground. So it looks grand. It Chinese looks cemeteries beautiful. seem like there's like vampires are going to pop out any second and eat you. <laughs> yes, like that. Gina knows what's up. She is a vampire. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> It's really cool to see the similarities between all the Asian countries. So like I said before, uh, Taiwan is like a dirtier Japan with stray dogs and trash on the floor. Japan is super clean. But Korea is like a American full-size version of Japan. So I think because Korea was um, it's a newly built country, I don't even know it's 50 years old yet, all the infrastructure is built with modern measurements. So the ceilings are taller, the streets are wider, and you could actually fit American sized cars on the roads. The cars that are here in Japan, they're all smaller, they're like smaller versions. For example, like if you see an S500 in, in America, more than likely you'll see like an S350 here. But it's still cool to see all the similarities between everything. Oh, yeah, there's all these bicycles that are trying to run me over, but I think I'm walking in the bike lane, so I'm being an asshole American. And with uh, Taiwan though, uh, Taiwan was actually once a Japan occupied territory and Japan helped build the infrastructure, the building and architecture infrastructure of Taiwan, which is probably why the building and the city is so similar to the way Japan is. It's just really cool to see um, all the similarities between the Asian countries. But I was asking Casey and he was telling me Hong Kong feels way different. Well, number one, it's way louder and dirtier probably because of Cantonese people, but also because it's a British occupied territory so more of the buildings look more Western rather than Japanese influence. Look at this really cool Stussy garage door. I think it's a streetwear store. It's not open, but it looks dope though. It's not? You order it here. And you go inside. Oh, go inside, yeah. okay. So we came across here. So we're at Kotsuturutokura. And then what we found is, this is how you order. You find the ramen that you want and you put in the money and then once they get the order, then you go inside to eat. Isn't that convenient? That's really smart because in that way, you eliminate human error. Although there could be like robotic or machine error, but it cuts that part out. 
and then it just makes it really efficient. You get, you're not gonna be able to make custom orders like, oh, hold the green onions or whatever, but it makes things way more efficient because then now you put the money in, boom, the person in the back is already making it. That's pretty smart. Getting the sights and sounds of Tokyo, Shibuya. I think we're actually just a few blocks away from the main intersection, but it's really cool to see how jam-packed, or not jam-packed, but how efficient they are with their space here. Ma bear, you play Kiruni. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm like just, I, I just want to keep on moving because I like taking all of this in. And I just get in the zone and I'm just like walking. So I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then I forget that people, other people are here. It's so rude. Look at the little walkway. Where? Oh, we missed Oh, it. I see it. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. That's how they pull the cars here? out. That's cool. Good people's daily lives here. They pull the cars out of a parking lot. Hey! They pull the park the cars out of a parking lot and they spin the car around and then they're just ready to go. That is so efficient. See all those cars in the back? Is that cool? That is really cool. That's so cool. And now he's gonna just drive away. That is awesome. So uh, we ran into our good friend, someone that we're very familiar with, Yoshinoya. And look at the quality. Damn, look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. I do want to eat here. This even has a tofu thing in there. Are we going to eat here? I don't know. I want to eat here. Babe, where are we going? Are we going to eat here or no? No? Are we going to eat here? Oh, I'm in the middle of the crowd now. And uh, you can see all the people walking around. It's pretty cool. I probably look like an idiot, like spinning around in a circle while going through this intersection. But you could, uh, I just want you guys to get a feel of what it's like. It's not that dense. Later we'll come back out here at night and I'll show you guys what it feels like. Okay, now I'm dizzy. Okay, so now I am at the world famous Shibuya intersection where everyone crosses before and after work. And it's crazy to see the entire intersection fill up. So it's not completely packed yet because it's not rush hour traffic, but you guys can get a sense of what it would be like if this was at like 5 or 7 p.m. This is so cool. Isn't that crazy? Everyone, amazing. Everyone got to live their life and go where they got to go. I love this. It's like organized chaos. I mean, it's not even chaos, but it's just so organized people just know what they're doing they like form their lines and they just stay there it's awesome i wonder where they're all going going to work going to school know, going right? everywhere what's their story what's the story what's the significance of this puppy statue so this dog is hachi i think it's a shibachiba and uh, pretty much he would walk with his owner every day to the train station and then wait in the station while his owner went to work and came back but then one day his owner never came back because the owner passed away. Oh. But every day after that for like years, he would still come back to the station wait for him. And people at the station were like, poor dog. And they fed the dog every day. And he pretty much just died at the station. Damn, or just waiting for his owner? Yep. Damn, what a loyal, loyal guy. Dogs are loyal. What a loyal guy. Cute puppy. We're at this train station. And apparently in Japan, a lot of the best food is in the train station just because it's so populated and there's a lot of competition. So in order to stay alive, you have to be bombed. And we're in front of the sushi place and it's not even open yet and there's already this crazy line and crowd. So we're trying to figure out if we want to eat here or not. Because it seems like there's gonna be a wait, but it also looks so good because uh, this is the sets that they have and this is one of them. There's like uh, Toro and um, raw shrimp, uni, big ass eel. There's all kinds of yummy stuff here. So we're gonna try to figure that out. But if the wait is long, I might even just go eat somewhere else and then meet back up with everyone else because I'm freaking starving. We're getting served. We're getting served, finally. Get to come inside. All right, ooh. Right in the front. Look at all that yummy fish and fish masters. Look at all the fish that is here. 
There's all kinds of toro, which is the extra fatty tuna. I rarely see amberjack, although I do see that in America. Sea bream, I do see that every now and then. Scallop there is, but striped jack, no. Arc shell, no. Um, they had even have multiple different shrimps. Snow crab, we never get actual crab. We always get imitation crab. Sorrel, wow, look at all these different fishes. This is awesome. What is that, Ma Bear? Well, we don't know, just, just eat it, huh? Yeah, it's just egg with mushroom and green onion, I believe. From what I can taste, I think it is steamed egg. I think you're right. And there's this crab paste salad thing, it looks like goo, but I bet it tastes good. So, Casey is a brave man, and uh, he ordered cod sperm. Broiled cod sperm. I'm gonna try some. It's delicious. I just tried Which it. Which side has a lemon on it? This side. This side? Alright. Be brave and try the without lemon side. Alright. I'm trying to Can I dip it in the sauce? Yeah, the sauce is ponzu. Oh, wow. It's bomb, right? It's like hot uni. It's actually not even as flavorful as uni. Uni has more flavor. It's. Less flavor than uni, but it's hella gooey. And I'm not even trying to make a pun, but it tastes like you get jizzed in your mouth. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Yeah, it's just like someone just busted a fat load in your mouth. Now you know what I feel. <laughs> Is that delicious? You lucky. Do you eat yours with pun too? Yeah. So you mix it in Ponzi and then you, yeah. I, I should have, I should start doing it. I haven't been doing it, but I'll start. The moly zam, look at this. I got seared tuna, crab. When are you ever gonna get real raw crab? I got sweet shrimp, uni, I got more cod sperm, toro. we have wasabi? I got insane amounts of dope, fresh, looking fish. This looks delicious. What did you get, Ma Bear? Um, I think I got the same thing you got. No, it's um, different. But I think smaller, no? Thank you. No. Because this yeah, it's, it's scallop, tuna, yellowtail, toro. Like toro. What's tuna. That? What's that thing? That's tuna. interesting. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Oh my god, what is this? It's like a pineapple. It's like a tongue. I'll eat everything you're not gonna eat. Okay, I'm gonna try to eat as much as possible. Wait, didn't I order that? Which one do you think I should try? Wait, didn't I order that? <laughs> <laughs> we could switch. We gotta switch. Yeah, because I ordered the biggest thing on the menu. Yeah. Awesome. So I got even more stuff. I got even more weird stuff. Awesome. Ooh, look at this big ass eel. Oh, oi. Thank you. Wasabi, baby. Alright, so I got the, my proper plate. Me and Tina switched. And I think this one has abalone, uh, toro, I think sea bream, more toro, uni, anchovies, raw shrimp, crab, fresh crab at that. Some crazy looking thing, I don't even know what the heck that is. This giant piece of eel, and then this little squiggly squaggles. Looks like sea anemone, but I don't know what the heck that is. I'm gonna eat all of this and a hand roll. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh wow, yeah. Looks nice. Thank you. Get up with everyone finally. Everyone else is here. Yay. We did the exact opposite. What's up, David? Look at the gear difference. <laughs> Why? We are reunited. Did you buy anything? What the heck is going on? What in the world? We have Pancho Vida here. Are we going? About to go on the subway for the first time. What do I do? Put this in here? Yeah. All right. Put it in there. Take it out right there. And we keep going. Keep going. And then what do we do? Go down the escalator. Go up the stairs. 
Hold on. Brandon! Oh, he's up there. We're going to Shinjuku. Crazy that these little kids just take the trains by themselves and they go to school. So responsible. So many responsibilities that they get to take care of. When, I remember when I was their age, when I was like, probably like six or seven, I was an idiot. I couldn't even walk home from school and it was just regular streets. But those little kids are able to take the subway and get home and put on their cute little uniforms and go to class. Here comes the train. Dun, da, 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 da. Is everybody ready to get on the train? Oh, I think they know where the opening one is. Go. Time to get on the train. Time to get in the train. Watch the gap. Then we gotta get packed in here. We gotta get nice and packed so we can save room for everyone. We gotta get nice and tight so we can. Uh, in Japan, a lot of people need to get on the train, so it's important for us to pack it nice and tight. If you watch some of the locals, that's what he they said. Don't, they could do it without any. I could do it. You could do it. You, can. you got Matt down. You have Bart behind you. That's why you can do it. <laughs> no, it's really hard. It's, it's really hard to get bounce without holding on. I've tried it before. It's really hard. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm gonna witness Tim fall right now because she thinks she's so skilled. We got it, girl. All right, so Gio thinks she can uh, ride the train without holding on to one of these handrails. I don't want her to fall. Yeah, right. Good <laughs> job. You have to be quiet on a Japanese train. Because <laughs> they're gonna think we're obnoxious you people. Right now we're acting like mainlanders in America right now. We gotta be cultured, babe. <laughs> Diff is trying to do the same thing. Everyone's trying to do the same thing right now. This is crazy, it's the Jenga building. <laughs> it looks like it's made out of little Jenga blocks. Look at those windows though, it looks like it just like shook and all of them got like um, out of order. Like shuffled, place. huh? Yeah. And then there's like this baller ass building right here, it looks really nice. I'm just judging by the outside, the inside could, look, could be busted, but who knows. So, we were looking and walking for uh, this shoe store that's supposed to have all kinds of heat but uh all kinds of heat i like that but uh we uh got lost and we <laughs> ended up in this children's <laughs> school district where i see nothing but kids in elementary schools and right when we needed a taxi this guy rolls up to come and save the day this is awesome What's amazing is that this is an old car. You can tell this is probably like early 90s or even late 80s. But the condition the car's in is ridiculous. Look at that. This is like perfect mint condition. But you can even tell by the buttons and the lever shape like how old this car is. Even by like the handles. But the condition this car is in is ridiculously good. It did a really good job. Maintaining this car. It's amazing. Oh, there, yeah, this is wrong. So, it was right the right side. Oh. And so. This over here, we go big corner, so turn left. Oh, okay. okay. This is the same place though, right? Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. No, I think this is the same. I think he did the same thing you could have done. So we walked into a guitar store to uh, ask for directions in the no Japanese that we know. And I think he told us exactly the same circle he's been walking in. It's different? Okay, let's try this. 
Well, he said right, but I think when he pointed to his left. All right. So we're trying to find the shoe store, and we keep getting lost. But um, the bright side of it is that we keep getting a really cool view of the city. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is we also got to meet back in about 30 minutes. I know. So hopefully we get to at least see it. I mean, but see this shoe store for um, maybe even five, ten minutes, just so I can see what kind of shoes they got here, and then uh, we'll see if we find it. So we weren't able to find the shoe store that we wanted, but at least uh, we're able to stumble across this little gym in the middle of nowhere, and they have a ton of shoes. So um, at least we get to shop around and look for shoes, but we only got about like 10 minutes because we got to meet up. You want to get those ones? What about the other ones you showed me? I like the other ones you showed me better. Oh, Brandon, look. Huarache. Oh, I like those brown ones. Yeah, those ones are pretty fresh. I like those ones. Oh, that's good. I might wear them right now. They're playing your song, my friend. I'm asking for um, duck boots and all the green and size 10 because uh, they have that new lunar glide thing on the inside so it's actually Air Force shell high top but there's lunar glides on the inside so it's really soft and it's supposed to be really light and I felt the model and it was super light so I want to try them on. So I ended up coming out with some shoes and uh, it's not in this bag, it's on my feet. I got the duck boots, the lunar force ones Bam! It's the olive green with the black colorway and the gum sole bottom and the graphite cushion. These are hella comfortable because they have the new Lunar Glide cushions and it's hella light. It's really just an excuse for me to buy the shoe because I think it looks cool, but it's an excuse for me to wear right now. I'm pretty happy. This big CUNY's doing. <laughs> what? Ma Bear's gonna copy Pa Bear style and wear her shoes while she's walking around too. You big cuny. You gotta take the stuffing out of your shoes. I, I like the ones you bought, they're pretty tight. Thanks. What's the verdict? I mean, didn't say anything. The map says Look at this big cutie mob bear with their new shoes. <laughs> big little bare feet. How do you like them? They're a little stiff. They're what? They're still stiff. But you wanted to be like paw bear? Yeah. Fine. We'll get clean together and I'll find me a soapbox where I can shout it. Yolk. So yellow. This guy's slurping his fucking life away over there. 